to see if they have achieved desired objectives as well as to initiate and or adopt new mechanisms to quickly deliver the needed common good to our people in the region. In addition, it is an opportunity to encourage the stakeholders to sustain their interest in developing the region, not with study inhibiting forces, as well as reassuring the people of their vow commitment to achieving desired objectives. The theme of this year's meeting has been purposefully tagged stimulating strategies for economic growth and development in the Niger Delta region. There is no doubt that in the past, significant achievements have been recorded in the region with tangible progress visible in the area of social economic development, capacity development of women and youth, and provision of infrastructure facilities, among others. Let me therefore inform you that we are aware that gaps still is, exist. The federal government through the Ministry of Works have just commenced the construction of coastal road linking Lagos to Port Harcourt and Calabar in Cross River City, which is commendable. In addition, the National Data Commission has been mandated to look into construction too of rail system from all those states to Calabar, Cross River, other PPP funding. When all these and many other laudable initiatives of government are completed, the economy of the region will be accelerated in order to become the industrial destination of Nigeria. May I therefore assure you that our inclusive policy will guarantee that every state in the region is being carried along in the development strand. Let me also reiterate the fact that this meeting is strategic to the ministry and indeed to the entire Niger Delta region to highlight the importance of all decisions, to highlight the importance. All decisions reached will not be treated with levity by the present leadership of the ministry as intended to serve as a blueprint for attaining the desired outcomes in the region. Sixth meeting of the National Council on Niger Delta, which commenced on Monday with the Technical Committee meeting. Paul Toshimi indicates that the technical section has been very enriching and impactful. Therefore, look forward to hearing from you in the days and weeks ahead. I promise that the Delta State Government gives serious consideration to the recommendations of the Council. That this forum provides a strategic platform the states in the Niger Delta region focus on issues and challenges of common interest, develop economic and equitable arrangements for the regional prosperity, given our collaboration, the use of the region's natural resources for inclusive growth and sustainable development. This distance of the National Council of Niger Delta recognized that independent nature of our various economic and political structures and their values in achieving regional hegemony. Economic diversity is key to our growth aspirations. Hence, I welcome my guests on how we can reposition our agricultural sector as well as attract the needed investment for our critical social and our economic infrastructure. I also expect this meeting to develop the blueprint for more robust and effective public-private partnerships to accelerate industrialization in our various states. Equally significant is the need for an assessment of the state natural resource exploitation in the Niger Delta and the urgent steps that need to be taken in addressing the issue of poverty, unemployment, and economic inequality in the region. Thank President and Commander in Chief, President Bola Ahmed Tinembo, for identifying Engineer Abuba Kamomo as the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs. 
reason why I said this is that we have been here since the establishment of this ministry. I think this is the first time we are having a conversation at this global level that will involve both critical and non-critical stakeholders. Every year, year by year, our portion has always been that of lamentation, where we complain every day of marginalization. Federal government also complain of pipeline vandalization. So it has been complaint against complaint. It has, been, it has come to a time where we must now begin to have very serious conversations as the statutory responsibility of the intervention created by 13% derivation in the Constitution and the intervention provided by the establishment of NDDC. With other interventions, to be able to define who are the real owners of this statutory intervention and the managers of this intervention, who are they accountable to? Me and you are the real owners. Why must we continue to carry on projects that have no lifespan? The resources meant for Niger Delta development created by the statute. Are they, using, are they being used for Niger Delta development? <coughs> monies that are meant to manage erosion, monies money that are meant to develop agricultural and agro industries, monies that are meant to bring infrastructure that will create jobs for our people. Are they being used for the region? So I want to encourage the leadership of NDDC and the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs to create more platforms for conversation. We need to carry out misassessment. What we need in this region, as we complain that we want more intervention, can we beat our chest and account that we have prudently used the interventions received so far? Anybody going to equity must go with clear hands. I believe that now that the ministers of the Niger Delta are ready to sit down for their head to be back, I believe they will look better than they used to look. Again, we all know and we must realize that if you put the food for a cripple, on a very high table, the intention is no longer to feed the cripple. And so, while we are very happy with what the federal government is doing, we believe that these things should be brought to where we can eat them on the floor. And so, that will be very, very possible. It is always good, very, very good, for a woman to have as many children as she can. Or it will be better for us to take care, have the ones that she can take care of. Why should we be committed for being pregnant every one, one year? But nobody will salute her for not taking care of the children she has given birth to. So let us take care of the children that we already have and think of how to do better things. When a man decides to grow big teeth, he must be prepared to have big lips to cover them. The Ministry of the Niger Delta and the NDDC to collaborate with the governors. Ordinarily, the governors of the Niger Delta are actually the owners of the NDDC because there's a governing council which is the supreme body of the Niger Delta. That council also needs to take up the responsibility so that we don't allow them to do what they like. Because if you don't know where you are going to, people will take you to where they are going. And that might not be your destination. <laughs> and so, solar light, very good. But solar light will not create generate or to start the economy of the Niger Delta. So coming together to talk about sorry, a gas turbine that can serve the region and provide light for us is really better than having solar lights all over the place. And so on behalf of all of us, I believe the best time to think is yesterday. 
The better time to think today is today. The worst time to think is tomorrow. Today, the thinking has started. The handshake must be firm and continuous. I believe together, because when the mouth gathers, a perfect mutual is blown. You politicians will come. You will go. So we have no escape in the development of Nigeria.